welcome back to Smith Coding and Design. I'm standing in front of my Sile X7. I finally have power of the machine. I'm waiting on a shipment of materials and then I will begin making parts. So in the meantime, I have received a few questions in regards to how many tool offsets can the LNC6800 store and how do you assign particular tools to particular pockets. We're in the middle of a snowstorm here in Maryland, so I have my coat on. It's a little chilly here in the shop. So if we come over here to the inside of the machine, Right now I currently have my Curt DX4 on the table. Eventually I will install a Pearson pallet system. And in regards to the tool offsets, which we'll talk about here in a minute, I do have the 12 position umbrella. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and transition over to the controller. So the first thing in regards to how do you store tool offsets and how many tool offsets can be stored We'll come over here. You'll notice that right now I am in MDI mode. That will be important here in a minute. But first, let's go ahead up here and press Offset. And then if we press the Tool Management key, we can see all of our tool height offsets. So right now, you're looking at a radius offset, and we also have here the height offset in Z. And what I'm going to do now is just press the Page Down key so we can just see how many tool offsets can be can be stored or height offsets sorry so I'm just gonna hold down it looks like my particular machine can hold up to 200 height offsets and so now what I want to do now that we know we can hold up to 200 height offsets is I'll go ahead and describe maybe one issue so if we come down here to the LEDs this has two digits so it shows that I currently have tool one in the spindle however my guess is if you use a tool higher than two digits like something in you know 100s 200s etc like shown here you might only see the last two digits and you won't be able to see all three digits maybe not a big deal for now I've been sticking with tool 99 or less so we'll just again go ahead and we'll just page up so we'll go back to the table as you can see here I probed some tools using my tool setter so there are already height offsets stored in the machine. So now we'll go into how do we put a particular tool into a particular pocket. So the first thing we need to do is press the maintenance key and then we need to go to at least level 5. I know the level 7 password off the top of my head so I'm going to go ahead and go to level 7. So I'm going to press 7, input, and then it's going to ask for a password. I'm going to go ahead and enter the password, press input again, and if it was successful, you'll see here it says change successful. Now if we go back to the offsets, so we'll press the offset key, we now have a tool login screen. So if I go to tool login, you'll notice up here where it says mag.tool.num. Again, this is why I was referring to the 12 position umbrella earlier because I have 12 tool positions so that's 12 and then down here you have each of the 12 pockets so for example pocket 1 has tool 1 pocket 2 has tool 2 etc but if you'll notice over here in pocket 12 I have tool 99 so you could use the arrow keys and you could scroll down and you could literally put any tool you want into a particular pocket that's how it would be done so now to go ahead and prove this to you, I currently have tool 99 and pocket 12. So I'm going to press position, the position key, and now I'm going to go to MDI. I'm going to close my door and I am going to go ahead and change from tool 1 to tool 99. So M6, T99, that should pick up tool 99, which again you just saw in the tool login screen is in pocket 12. So now we'll go ahead and I'll press login. So we'll press the login key and then we'll go over here and we'll look at the machine perform the tool change. So now all I'm going to do, the door shut, I'm going to press cycle start. Tool machines are rather quick. I mean, sorry, tool changes are rather quick. And there you go. If we look here at the LEDs, 
it does indeed say that I have tool 99 and the spindle now one other thing that I will show you and what has been easier for me for my jobs is instead of going ahead and programming say I have 30 or 40 tools if I press offset back in the tool management so you could have your list of tools your tool heights here and then put the tool in the pocket instead I purchased a third-party screen set so if I go here to tool load unload I can put all the I can load all the tools into the umbrella and then probe the umbrella at once and I'll show you guys how to easily renumber the tools in Fusion 360 such that you don't affect your tool library so you can instead just probe the entire umbrella instead of putting all your individual tool heights in if you want to go that way so we'll go ahead and transition into Fusion 360 now all right, so here we are in Fusion 360. This is a upcoming project that I'm working on. It's a BT30 tightening fixture, so I can put my tool holder in the center here and then go ahead and tighten the ER collets and then it simply mounts to the mounts to a table with the four holes here in the back. So really what I wanted to point out is you'll notice I'm using various tools. So I'm using tool 1, tool 16, tool 12, 7, 3, 6 and 29 and what we would like to do is easily renumber these so I can probe the umbrella so I can probe every tool in the umbrella each time and then we'll end up tool 1 through 12 and that way I don't have to probe all 30 tools and keep 30 high offsets stored in the LNC 6800 even though you can if you would like to this is just you know another method this is what I'm doing right now because I find it slightly easier so all that we need to do is come over here and click on our tool library and you'll notice at the top is a library only for this particular part that we are machining so the first thing that we want to do is clean up this library because it will sort of keep a history of all the tool paths or all the tools you use for a particular tool path and if you for example delete a tool path it will still keep that tool so you'll notice here I have tool 12 twice so all I'm going to do is highlight all of the tools I'm gonna to right click and you'll see a little broom icon that says remove unused tools so I'm gonna go ahead and remove unused tools and it's okay to delete them do not worry it won't delete them from for example your x7 library only from the library that contains the tools which are used for this part so I'm going to go ahead and delete it and now we're left with the tools that we are using for this part again since they're all highlighted I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say renumber tools start from one increment by one that's fine that's exactly what we want and down here you'll notice it tells you how the tool numbers are changing so for example tool 16 goes to tool 2 I'm going to press renumber and again everything is okay we are now numbered one through seven, which is what we want. So now we can load up our seven tools in pockets one to seven, probe the entire umbrella, and then start our start machining our part on the X7. And what I really wanted to prove to you here is since we change these numbers, if we go into our X7 library, you'll notice we did not affect anything that we had in our X7 library. So when we begin the cam for another part, we can go select our tools and they will have uh, the tool number which we assigned them here. Or we could probe all 30 of these tools and keep, for example, tool 10 in the offsets in the LNC 6800. So what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and close this and you'll notice that our cam was updated to use tool one through seven so that it was updated in order which is what we wanted and that carried over to setup two down here which is just where we go ahead and clean up the back side of our part so that's it for now again you can you know do it two ways you can probe the entire umbrella where you have tool one to twelve in pockets one to twelve or you can go ahead and you know save all 30 offsets in your LNC 6800 or how many ever offsets you need for the tools that you have and then you can use the tool login screen which I showed you earlier to assign particular tools to particular pockets either whichever way you prefer so I hope that helps I hope that answers some questions please leave any comments or feedback 
in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Thank <music> you.